here is a new video in the series of the core data it's the third part so if you have not watched of my first and the second part of this tutorial so please go on uh, my channel and you can watch the previous two videos so you will get a better clarity about this tutorial okay so in the previous video we have created uh, this kind of stuff we have built the data from the api and uh, stored in uh, this core data and also showing on this table view okay we have also implemented the delete functionality and all of these functions are implemented using the generic functions we have cre uh, created an api handler also in which we are you can see we have write a very neat and cleanly uh, for uh, for storing the data into the database so what we have fed from the users api okay so in this tutorial we are going to some uh, like doing some decoration of the cells and uh, yeah so let's do it For showing the image, we are going to use the third party API. I will show you. I am going to have an image because we have an avatar URL. I will put an image here and maybe we can uh, give it a 50 50 height, 50 bit and 50 bit. From left, I will give it a 10 pixel. Okay, then we have a label. And I will align it with the top okay. and I am also changing the font style. I will use the uh, as in next and we are saying a bold for the title 15 uh, of size okay. and in which uh, in the top level we will show the first name and the last name and in the bottom label we are going to show the email of the user so it should not be a bold maybe a drum line uh, a regular yeah regular work okay so we will show these three values on it let me give a cell plus and also the reuse identifier as it is. Now I will create some IB outlets for this. Use the image. Label name. And label email. Alright, so we have created the IB outlets for this cell. Now let's use it. Here it is, and uh, we need to do something like this here. Then we can remove it because we will use these IB outlets to set the values of the user object. So I will create a variable name user it will be of user type and here the, we will use the did set property and then we can use the function here 
which will be called whenever we uh, set the user property here okay so let's give it a name set up data so for setting the image <coughs> as i mentioned we are going to use the third party api because it is a demo purpose only so i'm not going to write all the code for uh, like setting the image on the image view so i'm going to use the kingfisher you can search it on google and uh, just open the github link so here you should have a installation guide here it is so just copy it and uh, you may need to initialize its cocoa port file so just try to coordinate it will create a port file here open it and then paste this framework here for install then we need to close this project and we'll open this one okay here you need to import in feature let's try to build it first here as you can see it's an optional user object so before using it you need to make sure if it is not nil let user equals to user and return ok then we need the url so we will access the avatar or the Maybe we can directly pass it to URL. Like this, then we have a user image in which we are going to use the KF, which is stand for in future, and then set image with URL. So it should be. This one. Yeah. Fine. Now let's set the values on the main field. So we are having the user first name and user last name. So it will print the name on the label. Then we may also need and we can set it user dot email. Okay. Now we need to yeah don't forget to use the uh, prepare for reuse. So I will set all the values to nil whenever it tries uh, to prepare for reusing the same cell otherwise sometime you uh, you can uh, experience the same data on the different cell when you scroll up and down so this is the main code so make sure you use it properly in your cell <coughs> now, here so what i need to do is cell dot user equal to user and index path dot row so it will pass the user 
into the user object of the stand. And I can do that to register this as well. Okay. So now let's try to run it. Run it on FP, then select the uh, 11 Pro Max and then run it. It should show the image, and yeah, here it is. But as you can see, all the images and this element of the cell is uh, like cut off from the top and bottom because the height of the cell we have so we are not defining here so let me define it also height for do it in this part I will turn maybe 60 65 and what we can also do here we can make the user image around it. So we will click on the gradient. User image the same size divided by two. So it will make it rounded. And one more thing we need to do is click to bounce. So it will look more more nice on the cell. So you can see here all the images are now in the rounded shape and all our text is also looking good. You can see uh, some uh, users are repeating because uh, we have deleted few of them and then we are uh, adding the new element. So let's try to delete this one and dodge. I'm trying to delete many of them. It's a very nice gesture, like right to left side. Very easy to do each element. Though it is uh, a little bit difficult on the iPhone simulators because we are using uh, to the mouse, but on the real device it is very smooth. So we have two elements, and then again the another element. Okay. So you can see we got the, the next element uh, from here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now you can see whenever I try to run this application. The same elements are getting inserted in the code data. To fix this uh, issue, like we can use uh, some ID before inserting into the code data. So we need a unique identity. So we can check if uh, this element is already exists in our code data or not. So as you can see in the database handler, we don't have any kind of uh, like object that we can use uh, the parameters because we are using the manage object <coughs> and we don't have any unique identity. Uh, right now, so for doing this, we need to uh, define some protocol for this NS manage object. Uh, using that, we can uh, check before inserting any element into the database. We can check if it is already existed in the database or not. Okay, so it will save uh, our lot of uh, performance because we are not going to insert the same thing into the database every time okay so i will show you in the next video 
so please uh, stay tuned on my channel and 